Team, 21.1 tips. Another year of the open, exciting. So we got a new movement, wall walks. We're gonna talk about that, go over it. But first we're gonna talk about the double unders. One that's kind of overlooked in this workout, new movement with the wall walk. Very important, we'll go over technique with that. But first, let's dive into the doubles, the easier part to attack on this workout. No matter where you are, double, single even, um, or you can do a couple hundred in a row, your goal is to try to control the stop on the double unders. So first set of 10, get through it. Set of 30, hopefully, get through it. Set of 60, you need to make a decision. Can you stop or should you stop at 30 instead of get tripped up at 35? This will also help you control the heart rate. So get that nice bounded jump, elbow, all the double under stuff that we talk about, we can link to those videos below. But most important for the dubs is to use that light speed rope, control that breathing, try to use it as that rest period, and then think about when you can break them up yourself so you are in control and there's no trip ups and mess ups and you getting flustered. That's our double advice. Turn it over to Kelsey for the wall walk advice. Team, we're talking about the wall walk for 21.1. You're mad at yourself now. You didn't do all those wall walks in the warm up that the coach told you to do because we got high volume now. So we want to talk about some tips to get you through as many reps as possible. So I have my lines measured out already. My fingertips are over back here. I start thighs and belly on the ground. I want to press back into almost a child's pose position. My fingertips are still exactly where they need to be, but I'm taking pressure off my chest so I can get a nice, easy kick up using as little shoulder as possible. So now once I'm here, my feet are up, I can start to move my hands and I want to take as big a step as possible. A big hand step and a big foot step. A big hand step and a big foot step. Getting back in as little steps as possible. Now, when I come up, I'm all the way down. Did I breathe? Not as much as I should have on that one. So let's talk about our breathing. It's very common to hold your breath because you're trying to keep your belly tight. You're trying to not wiggle around as much and stay stable. Stay stable. You want to think about just nice, even cadence of breathing. As you step, take a breath in, take a breath out. Thinking about your breathing is going to keep you from getting to the bottom of your rep and being all out of breath. Nice, even cadence on your breath. Now, high volume on these, as we said, you're going to have to rest in between a lot of shoulders today. So you want to bring your head to either side and you want to either go arm straight behind you or straight in front of you. Either one is fine, but you want to be completely off of your hands and arms. And taking your head to the side is going to keep you from activating the traps and the upper parts of your shoulders because this is still working, right? This is not. So that's the most effective way to rest so you can get right back to your next rep. Hope this helps and good luck. In this portion, we are going to break down an average performance from an average guy. Uh, I'm going to put my video up on the screen let you evaluate my performance, maybe fast forward through some of the parts, and I'll kind of give some commentary on it. I am not a games athlete, aspiring regional athlete, just an average CrossFitter who's done every single CrossFit Open. Proud of that accomplishment. Um, so maybe you get a prize for that, I don't know. Anyway, let's cue the video. Starting black at my starting blocks. Try to go pretty fast on these first couple wall walks. I feel like that is uh, the best way to approach it in the beginning. Got my rope fairly close and I feel proficient with dubs. Uh, you know, I could do a couple hundred unbroken if I'm fresh to give you an idea of kind of where I am as far as double unders are. So here's my set of three wall walks. At this point, I'm just getting used to the movement. Um, Still going pretty fast, but I noticed here in the workout especially, I was holding my breath because I was thinking too much about where my feet and my hands go and not focusing enough on breathing and the movement itself. Um, 30 dubs is unbroken here. This is set of wall walks started to get a little bit more difficult. 
can see here I start to break down in a little bit of that child's pose pullback. Just that advice we gave in the in the uh, in the kind of the pre-tips video. Um, there it is right there. And then let's see on my one, two, three, four, five. So when I'm efficient, three, four, I'm kind of four or five hand walks back into place. Big steps up the wall. Feel good coming down. I feel like these are still at a pretty good clip. Definitely starting to feel the shoulders at this point in the workout. Finished all the way down, come over. Here, my heart rate was a little bit higher than I expected it to be, but you know, I don't think there's any way to control that if you want to move. It's just some conditioning stuff I got to work on. Um, so a set of dubs here. I believe I went all the way through. Fast forward this. And this is where the workout starts to get meaty at this set of nine. I tried to think of them in threes. I like to break things up in my head a little bit. There I actually have some more room to bring my fingers back. I could be a little bit more efficient with that. And the walking portion is good here. I mean, all this reminded me of, and I'm not super efficient with the handstand walk, but it's just handstand walking. If you're a good handstand walker, then you'll be able to get this movement. So here I go with the flop fish rest position. Uh, then I walk it back up. I'm really starting to get the fatigue here on the shoulders in this portion. Good. Good, as if I'm coaching myself. So here's where the rest comes. See how long I was down, about five seconds there, but really I don't start that next one until about another eight seconds. So there's some time there on the ground. My steps are getting a little shorter here too, my hands down. That was a good transition, about five seconds. This last couple inches, this last couple walks in, if I could pick up and plant, and plant and get there instead of make that last inch move when I just missed the tape. Yeah, that was a good one right there. That's going to be the most important. Good, over to the dubs. And this I break up, um, I think about 45 or 47 and then get that second set for the 90. Pretty out of breath on this one. Fast forward this, there's my... Break. Back onto the wall. Out of breath and fatigued here. This is the big set, this is the meaty one, the set of 15. Are you going to get into this one, be somewhere in this set, or are you going to be able to complete this set? This is where if I do retest, where I try to make a bit of a difference here. Ugh. Yeah, you can see the steps with my hands are getting shorter and shorter for this set of 15. I think one of the first times I came back up into that knee position, got to reset back down. Big walk up. That was a good one after the break, just a long break. So six seconds. Nine. So about a nine second break there. And that, that to me was me trying to push to be in an unbroken position. I'm thinking like I'm doing my sets of three, I'm taking quick breaks. So my bigger break was a probably closer to 20 seconds. 
See, I'll probably take one here. See, I'm not going to get into it. There's 10. That's pretty good. So the reps just start to take a long time. I mean, it's about an eight, uh, let's say maybe seven to 10 second movement for most people. So if you're taking 10 seconds in between, you're talking almost 20 seconds for one rep. So three a minute is, uh, is not cooking. It's not cooking at all. Lost track of my count here. And this set of 15. Good. Got to be coming up to the last two or three. Go. I remember at the end I tried to squeak it out almost like down, child's pose, and back to it. That was a good walk. One, two, three, four, and I'm down. Oh. So I'm still into that set of 15. I'm closing in, but I, I must have two or three reps left. Because I'm still going. See, that transition could be picked up a little bit. I know it was exhausted, but I got to get off the ground on the rope quicker. So I break this one up a few times, kind of fast motion through this. See a little bit of time, hands and knees. resets and now basically I'm looking back at the wall with about three and a half left I end up getting 11 um, not to be a spoiler but I think that's where I could pick up a little bit the set of 15 and obviously the rest in here um, you know my clip on these is decent but by this time I'm just shot so I don't think I, I don't think I'll be able to get through the 21 so you got a lot of arms to the side dead fish rest but I do think I'd be able to get, um, uh, chip away a few more, because every rep's gonna be huge there. So if you get 12, 14, something like that, it'd be a big deal. Uh, but to get to that 21 is another level. So I'll speed this up a little bit, let it play out. You'll kind of see where I end up on that.
Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about it, happy to share how it felt um, or any tips that I can give you. Tried to put together a little something that people could learn or benefit from. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give me a like and subscribe. Appreciate you.